Uh, hello, everybody. I forgot to boot up the 3DS visual, but there it is. How's it going, Splurge, Bash, Buttermink, and Splurge again? Welcome to the stream, y'all. Is that Dan who just came home? I just started streaming if you want to join. Okay. Um, peer pressure is not is heavily <laughs> is allowed just heavily frowned upon. Eh, don't know about that. Uh, let's just avoid general spe general peer pressure. Um, but uh, please do not crit burn your mega B drill. No, 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 no. The more losses Splurge takes, the better off I am. That being said, if I win my head-to-heads with Splurge and Alex and one other match besides, I have clinched a playoff spot. So, uh, hopefully I can pick up the win against David and then all I have to do is win my head-to-heads and I am set. Which is exactly where I want to be. Splurge, I don't see you. I found Sohan. Should I challenge Sohan to a battle out of nowhere? Uh... Come for that first seed spot, dude. I've been I've been struggling. Then again, so have you. So, oh god, I changed the dimensions. I changed the dimensions of my face cam. That was not something that needed to be this way. I can fix this. I can fix this. Oh god, webcam, what you do it? All right. Just gotta refresh it so it doesn't be all jumpy. Being all jumpy. Dude, guys, look how jumpy I am right now. <laughs> I don't know why, but if it sometimes it like is jumpy, and then you refresh it and it's fine. Sometimes it's jumpy and you refresh it and it's definitely not fine. Splurge can't communicate now. Okay. Guess that's that then. Pokemon Professor, welcome to the stream. Uh, all right, an error occurred on my dashboard. Whoop dee, giggity doo. My face cam is still being all jumpy. I don't know if it is for you guys, but it certainly is for me. Um, so give me one sec. I'm gonna fix the face cam. And then I will fix the 3DS because sometimes you just need to sometimes you just need to make fix one problem at a time. Why is my face cam being so jumpy right now? All right, let's try that. Okay, that looks like it's still jumpy, but it's at least the exact same amount of jumpy as it was before, which means that we're good. Did I break things? No, this one was my own fault. It's not broken. It's just, it's just angry, you know. Um, is it jumpy for you guys, or is it okay for you guys? Because it's jumpy for me. Doesn't necessarily mean it's jumpy for y'all. Um, All right, we fixed it. We fixed it. I want to tell you we did start a gen draft league at work. I did pick gen five. Dude, if you're not bringing Scrafty Hydreigon, Darmanitan, Crocodile, uh, Gotharita, all of the genies, um, literally every week, then I don't know what to tell you. Should I use my little cup team? I should probably use my little cup team. Dude, Haley with a Y is infinitely better than Haley without a Y. Just saying it right there. All 
Or I guess Haley with two Ys is infinitely better than Haley with one Y. Oh, these teams are so familiar. <laughs> okay. So we've got a TBL team versus a TBL team, but the TBL teams were not designed to face off against the other TBL teams. So we're here now. And we're going to scout out how good this goes. It's probably going to go on a scale of poorly, poorly. Um, I don't think there was a scale there. I just said it's going to go poorly twice. Uh, we talked about them extensively yesterday. Talked about what extensively yesterday? I missed it completely. Um... But let's see. What other good Gen 5 mods are there? Dan doesn't know any of the Gen 5 mods. That light blew out and I replaced it and it was yellow and I was sad. Yeah, we do. <laughs> do we have an extra white? Maybe. It's yeah. not right there, which is where I'm looking. That is exactly where you pointed. You're right. You are. That's. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're correct. <laughs> that's a slow, bro. So I had like the fastest cold today. Okay. So I got to I got to this rehearsal for a podcast I'm in last night. You're in a podcast? I am in a podcast. It's not like an informative one. It's like <laughs> Well no, I mean it's it's, it's not it's, interesting. That's not what I said at all. <laughs> There's no it's it's not like a sports podcast or like a, a reading group pod like or anything. It's it's we have a script and we're it's a dramatic podcast. Okay. So, it's basically a play, but not on stage. So, part of the course. Anyway, <laughs> I got there, and, like, suddenly I was sniffling, and my nose was like, all right, it's marathon time. I was like, oh, it, it was running a lot. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got okay, where you were Cool. cool. Um, and so, I, I was, was proud like... proud of this nickname, by the way. What? I was proud of this nickname, by the way. You should enjoy it. Gordevoir? Gordevoir? Gordevoir. It's, it's... I need, I... It's a core guys. I haven't seen it, so... Okay. Wait a minute. It has a very close up of its face. <laughs> ah, there it is. I like it. It's I a like gourd. It. It's, it's a jack-o'-lantern-ish. It's a gourd. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, I was like, am I, like, suddenly allergic run, to cats? Run, nose, he, run, nose, he has, run. Because he has two cats. And so I was like, am I suddenly allergic to cats, like, out of nowhere? Because <laughs> I didn't feel bad at all on my way, like, in the car, even. Just suddenly I sat down, and I was starting to read the script, and I was like, huh, strange. So then I got home, and I was, like, a little stuffy, but I was like, maybe, like, I don't, allergies stick around when you're not still with the allergen for a while, right? Yeah, sure, maybe I'm just allergic to cats now. This is my life. Oh, well. And then I woke up this morning, I was like... Bleh, 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 bleh. So that was cool. This is what happens in my apartment in the morning. <laughs> and then I... So I, I not took an some, exaggeration. <laughs> I took some day cool. I went to work. Uh, throughout the workday, I was pretty stuffy. Like, I didn't go to the gym because I just I was feeling, like, heavy. Okay. Like sick, heavy, not anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I got in the car to come home, and I was like, "Oh, I kind of feel better." And then I got back here, and I was like, "And then I just took Dayquil now, and now I'm like, oh, huh? Don't get me sick. No, I, 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 I don't have a fever. That's not. So that's not the only way you get someone in, sick. In general, that means you're not contagious. I don't know if that's a hundred percent the truth. In general, are the words <laughs> that I use. <laughs> Dan, stop speaking in generalizations, because they're not accurate 100% of the time. Every single thing I ever say is a generalization. There's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> <laughs> that one took me a second. Dude, if you're not running Honeclaw's Swords Dance, Super Fang Mega Maw while, what's even the point? <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Alexander Allison. Tynamo. Gen 5. No, Tiny Mo's yes, Gen 6. No, it's Gen 5. Yeah, it's, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All the way up to Electros. I said the way I said Alexander Allison. I was like, Alexander Allison had a torrid affair. <laughs> and he wrote, wrote it, it down, down right there. Highlight. So I watched the whole um, Screw Battles video today. I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, the one with Aaron. <laughs> My favorite part was the, oh, oh, we just repeated them. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Rip gold out stunted me. I don't know what that means. 
Unless it's like a right. stunt, like, well, yeah, so he was gonna bring Super Fang Mega Mawile. Someone was saying he should bring Super Fang Mega Mawile. He's gonna right. say, I'm gonna bring Accuracy Raising Dynamic Punch Mega Mawile. I said, if you're not, you're not real, if you're not bringing Home Claws and Sword Stance with only Super Fang gotcha. Mega Mawile. I know what Dynamo is. Electros only has one first E. That's sort no, of that's a talk correct. Talk. Doesn't start with two E's? Yes, it does. Oh, E Electros? E Electros. Oh, yeah. And E Leak. You leak trick. I, I, I accept being trick. incorrect, but I 200% read it with one E this whole time. No, it's definitely, that's the correct spelling of Electros. Sure. Um, I don't know how else you would pronounce. I believe you more than I believe me. I don't know if, if you're talking about me saying Alexander Allison in a certain way, or if you're talking about me him saying Tynamo in a certain way, but I feel like both of those are correct pronunciations. Yeah. So. <laughs> I may have just meant the cadence of your Alexander Allison. Highlight. You can't say that when you, we give you an either or. That. Was it this thing or was it this thing? Yeah, yeah. you got it. Nailed it. This battle has, I've, I'm pretty sure zero damage has been dealt to any Pokemon in this entire battle. Well, not that's not true. Damage has been dealt, it's just all been healed. Huh. Okay. Lol, well, yes, the cadence of your saying my name was the funny part. Yep, exactly. In one. Wait. <laughs> Those are unrelated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are unrelated. Um, has well, nobody Mr. ever, Secretary, what are you doing to us? Have no, has nobody ever recognized that your name has exactly the same number of syllables and cadence to read or stress of the syllables as Alexander Hamilton? Because if not, it was the first. You need thing new crossed, friends. It was the first thing that crossed my mind. Yeah. Well, whether or not they found it, discovered that it is the first thing that crossed my mind. Yeah. That's a stealth rocking. Stealth rocking thingamajigger. So how many people run TTM? Run it? I believe two, which is Jolton Sticks, technically. Um, they're like the super overlords. Um, <laughs> but then I stream uh, Danza, Crobat for the win, also uploads on the channel. Um, Johnny is doing stuff on the new TCG channel. Um, and Uzi is also participating here. Let's not forget that Matt and Abe and all them other people who've existed in the past um, have Ugh. a part of the TTM, you know, thing. <clears throat> I don't remember if I, I didn't. Okay. Also, fun fact, every single one of my moves has 16 PP. It's a weird thing. Oh, no, all your Pokemon? No, on this one. Oh, okay. It's just weird to look at because they're yeah. all like 16 PP. No! You can't Earthquake my Celestila! I like the Serranium. I didn't realize you were going to ask for either of them when I when you said that, so I just said that as you asked for the first one. Anyway, despite the fact that I am in theater, no one has said it before. Wow. I'm extra disappointed in your theater friend. <laughs> um, where are you putting that cup? Just in the other cup? Well, no, so this one isn't actually cold, so I just put it on like a little piece of paper you got here. Yeah, okay. That's fine. It's probably fine. I assume. This one is actually cold, so I put it on a... On the coaster. On Matt Battery's face. Yes. Well, no, but... Yep. <laughs> He put his heart and Why face into that. Why do you think it costs so much? <laughs> he put his heart and face into that. That's right. I don't think you have an answer to Celesteela, I'm just saying. Me? No. My opponent right now. I mean, I don't either. Splurge. Hey, Splurge! Hey, hey, Splurge, hey, Splurge. Hey. Sup? Oh no, I am intimidating. Behind me, I'm. <laughs> Dude, that's why you drafted in round two, because if they're gonna hand it to you in round two, you're just gonna take it. Um, but now you just Alexander Allison. You are. I'm just gonna say your full name because it. Hey, Dan has to go. <laughs> it, it's it's good splurge. Just going well. Hey, Dan. I have friends. Hey, Dan. I made like internet friends. So that's cool. He's internet friend miss. That. That sounded like Christmas, but... It did, it did. <laughs> Maybe we'll have internet friend miss, I don't know. <laughs> See if we can put something together. Two of my friends are siblings, so they know each other, so... That's... One step easier. Wow, there was a lot to I am a lot. with that one. I don't really you... Like don't you heal bell... Punk. Punk, I did that, you don't do that. The first person to, to to guess how many fans I have on TikTok Six. gets me to say that you're right. 
16 million. Mm -hmm. You didn't say I had Those... to guess. You didn't say I had to guess correctly. <laughs> I was just the first person to guess how many fans. So what's the answer? No. You promised. No, I did <laughs> not promise. You made a deal. I... You struck a bargain. I shook no hands. You struck a deal. That, that lighting effect just did a really weird thing to Cliff Abel. Have you seen the new starters, Dan? I mean, it's obviously at least half the planet. <laughs> have you seen the Gen 8 stuff? That's I have out? not. Fire Emblem Three Houses, July 26th. Release okay. date. That was very, like, I definitive for not being sure. <laughs> I can't remember if it's the 26th or 27th. Uh, Internet Station Dan has become widespread. I'm surprised he's here. TV Ice Cream. Ice Cream brings all the Dan's to the yard. <laughs> That's one of my, actually, that's one of my lesser performing videos, but one of my favorites that I've made. <laughs> that's the thing. If you make videos on the internet, or like really any content, you'll make stuff that you're like, oh, this is like the best thing ever. And four people are like, yeah. And then some of these will just be like, oh, I, I gotta make, I gotta put something out the here, this one. And like 18,000 people are like, that's the one. That's my stuff. Dude, the Fire Emblem game, I'm stupid excited for it like it's gonna be super good that was an interesting combination of animations <laughs> the rolling I'm yeah. hand flap i'm pretty <laughs> perturbed by that <laughs> go into your what is this i'd expect him to be with bedroom and donald out in vietnam helping the peace talks yeah because you're famous you know, like don't, all the famous YouTubers don't do. Don't say that. I'm not Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Dennis Rodman Tron. <laughs> Tron. <laughs> That's a really old reference to a really obscure series. Uh, cool. That is the PBG Terraria Ow. Hardcore Season oh. 1. Wow. Yeah. One of the characters, Terraria guy, is designed to look like Dennis Rodman. Or his name over him is Dennis Rodman, but he looks like a robot. So then they're all calling him Dennis Rodman Tron. Hmm. Nice. Woo. Wow. Dan is covered in ice cream. Y'all can't see, but he's literally eating ice cream out of his pants right now. <laughs> Tilts his camera down. No. Nope. <laughs> Does not tilt camera down. That would not be necessary. <laughs> Guess you're wondering how much, though. I j it took that long to get it all. There was a lot of pieces. It wasn't like a ton of ice. Yeah, it like broke apart. It was a big spoonful anyway, and it all broke apart. Well, now I smell like peanut butter, so. <laughs> it does smell like peanut butter now. They really put him on tilt. We need more Dutch angles in this. I don't understand that reference. A Dutch angle? Yep. That's when you have in a movie when you shoot from underneath somebody at a diagonal. So that it looks like they're like more menacing and looking Dutch. Down. Yeah, it's a Dutch camera angle. Cool. I learned that yesterday. Ah. In case anyone was curious, when I acquire my information yesterday is my <laughs> answer. Not every time. Only if I was about to say then don't talk <laughs> down to me for just finding out, but I've studied cinematography. So. I assumed you would know what that was. You're well. right. No, you I should have. I mean I could maybe look it up. I know exactly on my, on my new phone that cost me an extra ten dollars now because I had to replace the thing. I went to the mall and they were like, I was like, I have an insurance thing and it came like five days ago and it didn't work. She's like, yeah, but if you replace it here, it's 10 bucks. If you go to the Verizon store, they'll do it for free. But I was like, I'm here. Yeah. So I spent an extra $10. Uh, Dutch camera angle. I mean, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's like the yeah, sure. Dutch tilt. The canted angle or oblique angle. I think you knew those terms. The Verizon. I've never been much of a vocabulary person. I just know the techniques and when and why you would use them. And that goes for everything. That's all of the thing. 100% of the thing. Chuck. This feels like a slow, inevitable death. I mean, it's only it's only inevitable at times. That was not really... No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what was I... You have no resistance to rocks, I'll try to remember. in fact. I don't believe. <clears throat> You say enough, but I'm pretty sure that four of your Pokemon are weak and the other two are just neutral. And you have no magic card on Clefable, so. That means Toxic is also free. Because your only Toxic community just died. No! Now I'm slow, Estela. Sell a slower? I'm not sure which is I think slow, Estela is better. <laughs> 
I mean, Steelix exists, but you didn't bring it. So, like, you can't say, like, I have it on this team if it's clearly on the bench. That's like me being like, yeah, Dan is a part of my front office. He lives there. You did say that. <laughs> you did do the thing that one time. I, I did do the thing. You got shouted out in the GBA. That's right. And so <laughs> I friggin' watch you every minute. <laughs> you made it. Oh, God. Did you see the new Pokemon trailer, though? I asked you that, but you didn't really answer. You were telling for, story. For the game? Yeah, for the Gen 8 games. It no. came out this morning. I did answer you. I did not see it. Oh, okay. You should tell me which of your star, which of the stars is your favorite. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Cyndaquil. That's not an answer to the question. I mean, it's sort of the answer to the question. You didn't... Yeah, I didn't say the Gen 8 starters. You're right. So it's Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh, I heard about that. And these are the starters. Those look rather familiar. <laughs> Those... What? <laughs> no, they do. I mean, they, they look... They look like Pokemon. Well, yeah, but they look like older starters, too. Not individually like them, but... Yeah, like, yeah. Components, components. Yeah. A little less original than they have been. Probably goofy. I like Score Bunny. Cutie pie. Well, I like them all. Also, S S Esper made the funniest comment I've ever seen. Go to my Twitter, and you'll find okay. it. Okay. It's the best. One, it's just quantifiably 100% the best. <laughs> Seems a little bit legit. Stop it with this Clairfever. I did not expect you to go hard Glyphable on a Celestia, I'm not gonna lie. That was unexpected. <laughs> I expected you to switch, but I didn't expect you to go hard Glyphable. Ha! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just the greatest? Oh my god, yeah. Oh. Oh man. Please don't I'm get sure... fully paralyzed right now. I'm sure Grookey would be the last one I would actually pick, because it's a lot of times it's just kind of a drag to make the grass, make the grass work. I don't and know how this fire's game's often be. helpful because you don't see fire mons very early, very often, and water is always helpful because you just get surf as fast as you can. But um, I do, I think Grookey's the cutest. Um, what was I gonna say? The blah, 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 blah. words, words are hard. Um, oh, the region is based in the UK, and, oh, goodness gracious. That was two kills that I could have had, that instead you are back to, like, near full health. No! I hate paralysis. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, I, so the gyms might be football stadiums around the UK. Uh, huh. That seems to be the case. Wait, so do you, like, actually go around? I don't, around? it doesn't, it didn't show, you go around, like, the UK. Okay. But you don't, I you, don't. We do, you and I do. The character player does. Oh, okay. Oh, alright, so it's not, okay, alright, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm not 100 sure where you're going with this. I thought it was, like, a walk around, possibly hybrid, main game, go. No, 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 yes. no. no. <clears throat> no, it's a it's a main series Pokemon game like all the others. Um, well, right, but that doesn't mean they were trying to do like aggressively creative things with it. No, doesn't seem like they were. They went back to gyms. Cool. They are uh, like they're, they're. It's not like the Let's Go catching or anything. Right. Cool. So it's yeah, should be a good time. Friends, color talk me, to me. Color me excited. I saw Elisa there a minute ago. Right, like when I got here. Did she leave? You can't do that. You can't leave. Alisa. Oh, <laughs> I'm just <funnier. laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh like that now. Not seriously, but just like at moments. And I'm like, I don't know if Dan did this or if video games did this, but whoever it is, I'm not happy about it. I hear, you know, I'll take that. It's more than not here. Down the hatch. I do the lurks. What? I feel you. Down the hatch. Down the hatch? I'm just drinking with just the liquid that's in the can in front of my face. Down the hatch. Go, go, go. That was down the hatch. What you just heard there. That's what that was. That was really loud. This is an ASMR video now. <laughs> this is really ASMR. It's strange in real life. 
Live ASMR. Yes. Okay. So now you can't get rid of my toxics so that I can actually wear you down. Dude, this Dawn fan I don't think has any offensive investment. It's just a Dawn fan. It just hits like really hard because Earthquake. It has a hand when it spins around. <laughs> Plat. I'm still perturbed by that. We could play the Dawn fan Rolly game from Pokemon Stadium 2 <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> oh my god. What a game. What a game indeed. <clears throat> Do I go for the 6 0, Dan? Uh, yeah. People forget its attack and defense base stats are the same. Are they? I thought it. Can't oh, yeah, forget what you don't know. It's 120 of both. No! He went for the ice punches! No! No, you did! No, you <laughs> I did nothing. Beta! Beta was. My son! To the stream. Hello! That did nothing. Why did that do nothing? I thought, thought that said heal ball. I know the attack heal bell. I thought it said heal ball. And then it said a bell chimed. And I was like, those are not. Oh, yeah. Why do you keep thunder waving? It's Lamo. You're also a water Pokemon. Yeah, well, it's Lubber against Thunder Wave. That's, that's okay. unknown. Also, Gold, when do you plan on streaming until? Uh, probably about 8. Can you answer in chat at work right now? Dan. On it! Okay. Or just hold up this many. No, no, no. You're just my, you're my designated chatter. Okay. Ooh, Buttermink's too fast. That's not... Hold on. Hold. Stop it. What? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, no. For... The thing is, I have... You're a... on YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm on TTM. You can tell by my background. Your work ends at 8? Oh, Butterman got it. Yeah, I told you that. You are absolutely right. You did tell me that. Uh, I have a battle tonight. I might, I might go till 8.30. But I have a battle to potentially tonight for the PCL, and would rather get it all done tonight than have to go on to tomorrow. Uh, so, or like another day, because tomorrow, what am I doing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I've got a double date. Oh, yeah. Going down to going down to Boston. Going on a double date. Tomorrow I've got a performance. So neither of us will be in this apartment. Yeah, so y'all can just come and hang out. We won't be here. We'll leave it open. <laughs> you know where we are. <laughs> Double dat da What? Double dat da wait no wrong person. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who. Did you just... So, like, you, you typed that, and you interrupted yourself. In the chat. So you wanted a, us to know what you were saying. There's a joke But there. you knew that we wouldn't get it. Maybe he was going to say double dat Dan. Maybe he was just so excited that he couldn't stop himself. Like, he was <laughs> typing so fast that he couldn't. Like, he was just like, no, it's, it's out there, done. <laughs> double dat Dan. Double dat Dan. No dat Dan. Double dog diggity Dan. Dim Oof. dim dim dim. Double date dad wait. Why? You just correct. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Unless you're saying Dan's going on a double date. Go sit in the corner. I'm not. I'm not. There's no. I have a fiance in the show. That counts. She's. The actress is married. Still counts. Okay. Uh, I've, never, be I've never been fianced. Splurge, you're hilarious. I'm so glad you're here uh, gracing us with your humor. <laughs> but he's British. So it's all fine. Splurge. I'm glad you're here. Gracing us with your humor. Give humor. me that death boost. Humor with a second U. Because there's already a first one. Yes, there is. Yeah. That's how the Americans spell it. <laughs> the angsty <laughs> teens. <laughs> Delta Aquark. Ew. <laughs> that sounded almost like an <laughs> Aflac commercial, but like a little bit of an aneurysm too. <laughs> Yo, Celestia Don fan literally just destroyed this entire team. 
It would seem so. I mean, if Hunger Kiss's heal bell was super useful, because otherwise I get paralyzed all the time. I'm not arguing. There's an American I was just British saying, thing. I, I mean, I'm down to have some sort of there, American British thing. What kind of thing are we talking about? <laughs> Splurgy <laughs> boy. Haley with two Y's. Splurge is male, but he said his name was Haley earlier. I don't know if it's okay. Haley. I don't know if it's a female. That's to be fine. perfectly honest, I only know Splurge's voice is deep. I don't know if I've they ever could be confirmed. whatever they. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've actually confirmed one way or another. But I'm going on the, the double date, and then I'm going to play uh, to Board Game Club. And I'm bringing Mysterium. Mm. It should be a good time. This team was definitely not meant for Gold Squad. Whoops. Whoopsie, oopsie. Just get the. Uh, get the. Super the... Flinch Para Freeze. No, I was gonna say freaking come back now. Dude, the six, male that the enjoys messing one with against people's the, head. The six okay. v one. Here we go. This is it. This is the time. This is the moment. This is everything. Are you telling me that I can never trust you ever? Because that's what it sounds like. Sundamave. Wow, I live <laughs> with that. <laughs> F for condolences. Rip. Rip Dan. That Dawn fan literally just tore the middle of your team in pieces, and the Celeste dealer did the beginning again. Sounds like a good time. Actually, it sounds a little bit like drawing and quartering, but we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> when you put it that way. <laughs> okay, I guess we're talking about it now. <laughs> okay, Damn. so we're doing this. <laughs> I'm the best at scribble, scribble, scriblio. Yeah, without cheating at all, definitely not cheating. And then you made fun of me post-trauma. That's how he gets stress disorder. It's actually traumatic stress. It's not post-trauma stress disorder. It's a post-traumatic stress disorder. That makes sense. Checks out. Yep. Words and all that. Prefixes, suffixes. Wow. Affixes. What are affixes? Things that can be affixed to something. Okay. Prefixes and suffixes. Such as. Affixes. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. They can be attached to words. Checks out. Yep. I can't remember. I was trying to think of something I could rhyme with suffix, but I don't. Except for suffix. I was. That's. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Okay. Prefixes, Not that you suffixes, came up with anything. Affixes, but yeah. suffixes. <laughs> suffix. Suffix is a place. <laughs> Splurge, I hadn't noticed. You should just keep on keeping on. Splurge, we're very happy to have you here. And it speaks even more that you're the one talking the most and you're the one battling. That's probably why you're getting 6 0 Like, I, I don't yeah, think it has anything to I do would, with your stats. I would definitely not be able to talk if I was battling. Yeah, exactly. It'd be really hard. Right. That's why he never does it. No. Because he just can't. It's really challenging, and everybody should never do it. Exactly, yeah. So really, you've you've taken one for the team. Talk the hind legs off the donkey. Mule thumper? Is that some British thing? <laughs> Mule thumper. <laughs> Mule thumper? We still call him that. I, of course you do! It would be a travesty if you didn't still call him that. If you're not doing anything on March 10th, we could use the extra body. <laughs> Just saying. You are still a guest character that can just show That's up. true, I am. Um, and we are accidentally fighting a creature we were not supposed to fight. I mean, we walked into the lair of a creature when both the cleric and the bard said, hey, can we rest so we can get our spells back? And the sorcerer wasn't there for that session, so he's not with us. So nobody has spells. And we walked into the lair of a creature that is probably like level 15 while we're all level 8. And we fought it for almost two hours, and Dan's like, we were ending, it's like 9 o'clock, and Dan's like, okay, we gotta stop the session, um, we can pick up in the middle of this combat later. And we were like, okay, he's like, yeah, just so you guys are all aware, this thing doesn't look like you've done any damage to it. Oh, Faro's not gonna help with that. He could be a body. <laughs> he can be a body that never hits, and when he does hit, does three damage. That's more than none. <laughs> You're it's right. It's not insignificant for him to just, to just sit there. Okay, cool. I mean, I think it's a British thing, but, like, that's fine if it's a not. British... And I'm just uneducated. 
I'm the Max. I've heard it. So if I it's think. an English, I don't know. Well, that's a yikes. <laughs> Sounds like you need a dwarf with crit knuckle duster. We kind of have that, don't we? Um, I mean, he might not have crit knuckle duster, but <laughs> we have he has dwarf. flurry of toes. <laughs> we have a dwarf. So it's in this pool. So I am available. In case anybody for now. is, I mean, tell Dan. Um, in case anybody's curious, basically what's happened is our ca- is our party went went into this oh, little cavern, and um, it's this downward stairwell around a pool of water, um, sort of like open in the middle, the whole middle. So if you picture like Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, like that first area in the in the castle where you're going up the stairs, except at the bottom in the middle, there's just a pool of water instead of ground. Um, and we, uh, you know, Splurge, great game. Thank you for the battle. Always appreciate our weekly TTM battle. Buttermink, if you're ready, you will be up next. Um, but... So we, we have this pool in the middle, and we have all these... This It's like a natural wooden stairwell. It's not a built stairwell. And we've been hearing stories about this thing called the Mother from this band of orcs who has, for some reason, gotten smarter than most orcs. Um, and so we go into there, and we're, like, ready to talk to it. And it turns out it's just this giant, evil, tentacled frog thing, and it just fights us. And, like, the bard and the cleric, who had both been like, hey, before we do anything stupid... Can we rest so that we can get our spells back? And and all the fighters who are like two rogues, a monk, and a um, a druid. The druid had most of his spells still. Um, we're like, nah, we're going in. And we were like, well, we're not just going to sit out here and not go in. So we went in. Um, and Buttermink, man bird, uh, learned your name twice. Uh, I think it's, um, uh, I keep wanting to say Johnson, but that's not a first name. Probably Tiffany. Um, I can't re- uh, Justin! Justin! It's your turn. Um, but anyway, your love for Sobble is out of this world. I, it's funny, I'm Score Bunny. he went with, uh, Grookey. So, but Sobble, I'm gonna be honest, I think, based on the name, it's supposed to be, like, Sadness Incarnate. Yeah. But it, I would never have pictured Sadness Incarnate to be that adorable. It's, it's way too hey, cute to be Sadness it'll, Incarnate. It'll get you if sometimes. It, I mean, when it, when it evolves and it's just, like, a water ghost type and you really have to think about the, like... Ooh. You really have to think about, like, the, the thing that happened to it as its, like, Ooh. life was going on and its name is, like, I don't know, something, like... It's, like, deep deep something, because it's a water type, but it's mm-hmm. like de- de- deep fresh something. Anyway, um... Deep fresh sun. Gookie. Gookie. Okay. Um, he's not a cricket. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, oh, y- yes. So there, okay, too many things going on at the same time. Um, Surely Sadness and Carnage is a comedy montage by Amy Schumer. Um, Canadian Zoomon, you are totally right about this. I do know what you're saying. Anyway, so going back to the story, um, this they walk into this cavern, and they're like, okay, bard, you do the talking. And I was like, okay, cool. So we find this creepy creature, which it's basically just like... I said, okay, cool, and it thought I said, okay, cool. Right. Um, so... Oh, I gotta stop. Um, Sobble equals water polo. So I... Um, what's the word? I was like, okay, cool, uh, it's this creepy creature thing, um, does it, like, I cast one of my remaining first level spells that I had, I was like, I cast Comprehend Languages, and it's, like, gurgling and making these noises, and he's like, you don't understand anything, it's just, this is just, like, general, like, wet noises of, like, a a creepy creature that's in the water, Uh and I was like, okay, and he's like, yeah, it doesn't have a language, so we can't talk to it. And I was Jeez. like, that's not helpful at all. So now I've just blown a spell that I don't need. So we're, like, in this this cavern, and um, it just, like, we talk to it, nothing happens, so it launches its tentacles at us and starts attacking. So now we're, like, in combat. The cleric and bard both don't have any spells, which would be incredibly useful right now, because um, both of those are very important. The cleric has to... And we walked in there, and, like, right as we walked in... Um, the monk was like, oh, by the way, I'm at 12 health. So the cleric blew her fourth level spell on a heal um, for him, which was really appreciated. Um, and so now he starts the combat at, like, 37 health instead of his, like, 105 he would have if we rested. And 
then we're battling the he has four tentacles they all reach out grasp four of our team members our party members they grasp the uh, druid who is uh, polymorphed as a, lo a giant lion um, they grab one rogue they grab the cleric and they grab um, the who else did they grab they grab somebody else that I'm completely blanking on who and the monk um, the monk the lion and the rogue all make save, make their deck saves and escape the grapple. The cleric fails, um, not the strong suit of a cleric, and gets grabbed and pulled over the pool, over the mouth of this giant creepy creature. So the other rogue jumps from the ledge out, catch hits his acrobatics roll, uh, stabs two daggers into the tentacle. Rat daggers? Uh, no, 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 these are <laughs> nicer daggers. Okay. Stabs two daggers into the tentacle, and then has to make an athletics check just to hold on while it's like flailing, and he does. So he's now grasping it, and he's stabbing at it. And then meanwhile, the bard, myself, gets grappled um, by another tentacle that has failed to grapple something else. So the lion comes running over on this tiny pathway and grapples the, it like bites into the tentacle and grapples it. So it's grappled while I'm grappled. Um, and everyone's grappled. Grapple and, sauce. <laughs> and so the cleric now f gets free because this tentacle is like being stabbed from below, so it's a little bit easier for her to break out. So she breaks out, which means she falls. <gasps> um, but since it's thrashing, she had to roll basically a d100 to see which direction she flies. And of course she flies the exact opposite direction of the exit. So she gets launched into a wall, get, uh, escaping the grapple of this this thing, but now the rogue is still attached to it, having nowhere to go, because his daggers are kind of embedded in it, and um, the bard, myself, gets uh, gets loose because we basically destroyed this one tentacle because the lion, um, super cool, he's like really optimized that character, um, basically, if he's grappling something, he gets free attacks, he doesn't have to roll, they automatically hit, oh. uh, which makes sense, Sure. And um, but as a lion, he gets a bite attack and two claw attacks. And they all automatically oh hit God. if he's grappling. Wow. And he has like a plus 26 to his like gr maintain grapple check. Jeez. <laughs> so it's like crazy. So he's holding on to this tentacle. I get free as the bard. Um, I I have one of my third level spells left. So I, or I have two left at the time. So I, I throw out a haste for everybody. Um, so we're all now fast. But it doesn't really help anybody in terms of like survivability. Um, we're all very injured. Um. I'm not super injured right now, but I have no spells left, which really doesn't help. I think I have one first level and one third level spell left, and that's it um, for the rest of this combat. And so this thing keeps thrashing about. The uh, cleric gets launched against a wall. Um, the rogue is hanging onto it, and our monk is like, I can save you, dives into the pool to try to punch it. Because that's what the monk does. He can punch things. Oh my god. So he dives into the pool. The mouth of this thing is almost the entire width of the pool, so he has to make like uh, an acrobatics check just to miss the mouth. Because so otherwise, he's just gonna jump right into the mouth of this thing. So he misses yeah. the mouth. He actually makes a really good acrobatics check, misses the mouth into the water, um, and he goes under the water. And he's like, "Okay, what do I see now?" And he's like, "It's just black. It's pitch black, murky water. You can't see anything." He's like, "Okay, where is movement coming from?" Because you can usually sense where that's coming from in water. So he has him make a check. Makes the check. Um, and he kicks wildly, does not hit the eye of this thing. Um, hits the, he, he does damage, but he doesn't hit the eye specifically. And then um, the, so he's now in the water. Hmm. The rogue falls off of his daggers into the water Ugh. and misses the mouth, but into the water. <sighs> so the cleric is all by herself in one corner of the room. The rogue is in the water, the monk is in the water, and then the lion druid is holding onto one tentacle with the bard standing next to him and one of the rogues standing there as well still with us in that area um and the uh am i missing somebody i think that was everybody you counted for so we're all spread out now most people are very close to dead um and then the dm is basically like okay it's time to end the session um this thing doesn't look that injured. Jeez. We were all just like... 
So now we have two weeks to figure out how we're going to leave. Yeah. Um, how are we going to run? And honestly, I think we can beat this thing. I think we, like, can beat it. If we come in with the cleric having optimized her spells, like, she, she can use the evening to prep which spells she wants, and the bard getting his casts back for things like haste, for things like who even knows what else. Um, what my second level spells are. Whip of Spiders. I can summon a spider swarm into the mouth of this thing. Who knows what that could do? Probably good things for us if it eats the spiders and then it gets poisoned and, like, you know, not a terrible option. So, lots of options there, but we don't have those spells right now. The bard, the lion, and the rogue are all near the exit, the, but we're missing the cleric, the other rogue, and the monk, who are all on the opposite side of the creature, basically. So there's like a pool, and there's like a stairwell down, and we're on the top of the stairs, and they're all at the bottom of the stairs. So they have to come back up the spiral staircase around the pool, avoiding the tentacles, and get out. Now the cleric said she does have a couple spells left, one of which is a spell that uh, basically debuffs the, the creature, any creature, and can make it so that the creature doesn't get attacks of opportunity as a oh. reaction. So basically if she can cast that, and then they can all run on that round while they're still hasted, they can probably get out without it Mm. lunging at them. We don't know if it'll chase us out of the, the cavern, right. though. And so we're all kind of like, even if we get out, we may still be in trouble, which is why I don't want to blow my last third level spell, because I have a spell that makes it, it's called Tiny Hut, and it basically just makes a semicircle over us that, like, hides us, basically, from other things. And so, like, that would be useful. <laughs> that would be um, pretty clutch. Yeah. So, like, if we can get out, we can maybe salvage the situation and survive. But the fighters don't seem to want to leave, even though they're all also almost dead. Like, uh, uh... Maybe they're tired of this. Maybe they're hoping for a TPK. I don't want a TPK right now. I love this bard. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, where I'm at, I can survive. I can run. Like, <laughs> if the party starts going down, like, I can go out and I can make a hut. Like, <laughs> and just sit there. Bye! <laughs> um... Sebastian, Welcome to the stream! Sebastian. You missed my whole story. Um, which was the story of a mo- it's like a memoir, almost. But not sure. quite. It's the story of a moment, you know? Yeah. It's like, how did we get to this point? Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, it was a good story. That's that okay, good. make it up. Pretend um, you heard it and just yeah, be fill in, in the blanks. Be impressed. Yourself. Um, but yes, Canadian Zudamon is saying that, uh, Grookey is based on cricket, Scorbunny is based on soccer, and Sobble is based on water polo. Oh, Because okay. it's all sports- in. Um, but someone else said a different sport for Grookey that it made more sense. It's the log throwing one, like Kate Cater. Oh, something. like the Scottish. Yeah. Nonsense. Yeah, where they just huck logs. <laughs> yeah. Like, welcome to Scotland. Um, <laughs> it's it's sort of like that, except. Uh, no, that's, is you like, got it. Fresh Prince right here. I'm basically Will Smith. Yep. Um, so it looks like. Rap. It looks like Buttermink done dipped. Buttermink! And after you told Beta what time we end. But we can play Pokemon Stadium 2 if you want. Uh. Uh. <laughs> wow. Dan has. Hey, there you are! Dan has no sense of team spirit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dan has. Dan hates fun. Wait! I don't see you! Yes, that's me, fun hater. Dan, Dan, the fun hater man. That's it. That's I. I think I remember that. <laughs> that's how they said it the first time. That's how. It Who was that? Who declared me that? Uh, I think it was Kyrie. Kyrie? Oh, Kyrie. Yeah. In my head, I made it K Y R I E. I was like, perfect. <laughs> I'm getting a piece of toilet paper. Okay. Ah, Buttermink. Ah, what? Buttermink. Buttermink. I thought you said butt summoning. Which is probably very different than what you're doing here. Probably. Um, probably. Uh... 
I love the way you two say my name. Buttermink! Still not as good as Alexander Al Allison, I'm not gonna lie. Still the hero that we all don't deserve. I, I'm partial to Alabama Hammerman. I don't even know what that's a reference my to. My name is Alabama Hammerman. Sam, someone, someone just like tweeted it once. <laughs> the world's gonna know your name! What's your name, man? Alabama Hammerman. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, that's you. Is who No. Nope. No? Yeah, that's, that's, it's just, that's it. I guess oh. not a tweet, it's like a... a Tumblr? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a Tumblr. It's a Tumblr. Alabama. Alex Mander Hammerton. You got it. Oh, butter makes up that. <laughs> oh. Echloud Zarora Jelly Songs. Manafi Slapuff and in funny. Go home, Andrew. That's an order from your command room. <laughs> Why is that hilarious? I don't know. that when you get really high pitched you become British. I didn't. What? Stretch my vocal cords! That's not British. No, 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 but you, the, there's something else you said that sounded like it. Was but British. a mink! Not that. I mean that, but not that. Okay. <laughs> Unconscionable. <laughs> oh, God. What? I oh, clicked, no! I clicked every button. Don't do that. This whole time, both the game audio and the background audio has been playing, and nobody has said anything about it. Nobody cares. Now they're mad at you. Because you changed it. Ain't nobody give a care. Ain't no party like a TTM party, because a TTM party has a lot of different people who are on the side of the camera. Oh. Mm. I forgot he had Zero Aura. That was a lot. That took me by surprise. <laughs> I will be completely honest, I forgot that he had Zero Aura on this team that I just saw like two seconds of fire. But prior. So my sister just said, Oh my god, load Spotify! But I read it as, Oh my god, load Spotify! <laughs> Here's okay, a good place to ask. I will. I've done Pokemon already. A game I should turn into a haiku. You should do... Wait, hold on. Why not fire? Totally tame men. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> I was, I was, I was doing this. Okay, I might have to write this one down. Why not fire emblem? It's a really solid game, and could be the best. I want it to be like, and makes a good haiku estimate. Sure. Are we we're using fire as one syllable here? What? Yeah. Is it not fire? Hmm. How's fire emblem? <laughs> <laughs> uh, makes for good haikus. I understand how haikus work. I was just struggling to do that live. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant limericks. <laughs> Iambic pentameter. I'll be back. Someday. Oh. Okay. I will be back. Well, fine. Leave okay. Leave me here with these cretins. Okay. I found your Culver Berry. Dude, this thing loves its statuses. I'd honestly rather be burned than... Then uh, toxic though, so we're good though. All right. 
As much as Jellison is the Monopoly man, I'm pretty sure it's definitely the Pringles man. That rest my case. That's it. That's the whole case. Case closed. Pringles are open. Case is closed. Oof. Hex. That does a lot of damage. Also, this is a fast Jellison. I mean, I guess I am the Gorgai Super, so it is slow, but... It's a fast Jelly. Does burn? Oh, no, leftovers take priority. Okay. That didn't work, Buttermink. That one is- you cringed yourself there. This one is entirely your fault. Out comes the Infernape. Hmm. Okay. Not 100% sure what Pokemon you were necessarily expecting in this situation. I'm gonna go with a hard, it was not Togekiss. Thunder Punch! Just don't pair me and I'll be fine with it. Oh my god! Alright, we still get the Air Slash off, but still. That. Dude, when you get the secondary effect on the Pokemon with Serene Grace, it just makes me feel bad. It's just like, what's even the point of using a Pokemon with Serene Grace if I'm just gonna get secondary affected? You know? Oh, Buttermink. Oh, get out of here with your manatees. Oh, he's popping off with this Zebu right now. I'm about to get smacked. Okay, it's Z Rain Dance. So he's just fast now. He's just fast and immune to status. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. for the tail glow we've been i feel like i've been here before i feel like this exact team has seen this before in fact goes for the ice beam here Strategy needed. Grid-based movement with story. With a story. Favorites will die. Then you're just not a very good player. Surf in the rain. How much does this do? It's gonna do a lot. Oh, it Oko's. Okay. Dude, why does this team lose to Manaphy no matter what? <laughs> this team just always loses to Manaphy, basically. This is the Manaphy I gave you. Wow, that's crazy. What are the chances?
I guess I should have stalled out with the Celesteela, because then I could have brought it in, Leech Seed, Protect, switch out, um, Protect, and maybe kill the Manaphy, but I'm not even sure. Uh, Daily Haiku done. Not a tabletop game, but who's keeping track? Dude, tabletop gaming is amazing, and more people should do it. Dude, I should have run Snatch, Togekiss. Should have done it. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how many times I can get, I can lose two a mana fee, but. It's apparently a lot. It's apparently every time. Doesn't even want to waste the Surf PP. Doesn't even want to waste the Surf PP. Alright. Well, great game to you, Bata Mink. If you'd like a prize, another prize. Since you beat me with the last prize, you can have a prize. I just said prize many, many times. Sebasculin. Sebasculin. Hey, Sebasculin. You should write a haiku about... Dungeons and Dragons. Boom! That's a haiku. Uh, did you want a prize? You didn't really say if you wanted a prize or not. Also, nobody else has signed up to battle, so if nobody else wants to battle, we can do something else. Um, I can go back to Colosseum, or we can uh, Scriblio if people really want to do that. Uh, Edward Myers, Ooh. welcome to the stream. How's he doozy? Yoo hoo! Big summer blowout. All right. Sometimes you go from being totally sensible to a complete imbecile. In Second. Pretty remarkable. Um, all right, so let's go to here, which is box number one. Where's my die? There's my die. Box number one, okay. Row two, and slot three has nothing in it. Slot five, is that something that's available for trade? check and see if that was given to me or if that is something I am trading away. That was traded to me. Slot six. All right, so we're looking at Keldeo. Choice scarfed Keldeo. You continue your trend of getting water type legendaries. Sorry, my German accent is terrible. Yeah, that's not... I don't know if you have to apologize for that, but uh, that's something that I'm very well aware of.
All right. Abyss Haiku. Influence the lords a power vacuum. Below the throne awaits you. What? <laughs> I didn't understand. I do not follow. No problem, Mr. Manbird. Enjoy your Keldeo and your Manaphy. Found D and D. A dragon sat there, its mouth aflame, its teeth bare. You had to say it. <laughs> that tells a story. Dude, that's like the story of when I lost my arm to a dragon. All right, Trey. You're up next. So you're up like right away. So no time to waste time. Um, I think I still have you added. So jump online. And we can do battle. Now, um, Abyss is a game about influencing underwater lords to win the throne. Ah, I don't know Abyss, so. That makes sense, though, that that's what that, 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 that's what that game is. Um, but yeah, so when we were fighting a dragon in my campaign, um, basically, the my I didn't really have anything that would damage it, because um, it was a red dragon, so it was immune to fire, and my bow is a magical bow that automatically makes every regular arrow that flies out of it a, a fire arrow. Which means that nothing was like, unless it was doing piercing damage, which its DC was like super high and I'm a bard. So I was like, it's probably not gonna happen that I'm gonna be doing active piercing damage. Um, so I uh, decided I was going to, uh, to use the Pathfinder version of Cutting Words since I'm a wit bard and I have that. And basically that's just 1d4 damage plus your bard level, um, flat. And there's no saving throw, there's no having it, it's automatic if you speak the same language as the creature, if it can hear you. So I was just basically screaming at the top of my lungs these cutting remarks over and over, uh, every round. I was just like making hateful comments at this dragon. Calling it vain, calling it stupid, calling it unobservant, saying it was getting beaten up by a bunch of mini people. Um, it was great. So finally the dragon decided to take offense to that. And it launched into a basically just like kill the bard campaign, uh, which is fair. And uh, it ripped my arm off. That's it. That's the end of the story. Um, I survived with no arm. Um, but it was pretty. Sw it was pretty swell. So my arm got ripped off and I got really angry and I basically went to a rage even though I'm a bard and so I can't do that. But I took the blood that was now like pooling out of my arm and like pouring out and I took it and I used it to cast glitter dust and blind the dragon with my own blood, which was pretty wild. Um, not gonna lie, I was pretty proud of that. And so it was blinded from this blood. I was still screaming at it. Um, these like cutting remarks. And then I had um, in the, I was holding onto a bag of holding and in the bag of holding, there was a warding circle that was warding against dragons. So I literally escaped from its grasp, ducked like half a step away, grabbed the warding circle, put it around myself and then just kept screaming at the dragon for the rest of combat. Um, and I was only mostly armless. Thank you very much. Um, and while I didn't kill the dragon with my cutting remarks, I wanted to. Um, it brought him down to the point where the rest of the party actually had a chance to kill him. Which was, you know, convenient. You're good, Trey, Edward. No worries. It's not like we've got like 50 people waiting behind you in line. I think most of the cutting in these remarks was literally done to my arm. Hey, now I have a clockwork robotic arm 
which actually gives me plus two on strength checks, which is great because I have nine strength by default. So instead of my minus one, it's effectively a plus one. All right, so there's no mana fee, so I think we're in good shape. Throwing things. Okay. Um, but there is a palace and. Now, one thing to note about that particular incident where I lost my arm, um, it was a moment of questionable DMing, and, and, and not necessarily questionable DMing in the sense that it was poor DMing, but it was like a questionable style of DMing that I don't necessarily prescribe to. So basically, um, I got pinned down by the dragon, and which I had no save to do, and then it went in for an, a bite attack, and it critical hit its bite attack. Now, in Pathfinder, you have to confirm a crit, so it confirmed its crit, so a nat 20, it confirmed its crit with a nat 20. So then the DM was like, okay, I'm, he bites your arm off. But I was like, I'm a bard, we're pretty wiry, I have a pretty high dex score, why didn't I get any sort of like reflex save to having my arm literally bitten off of my body? Like that's a really big permanent debuff to my entire ability to function as a person, um, to something I didn't really get a save for um, at any point. Like I didn't, I couldn't resist the pin, I couldn't resist the like, arm getting ripped off, um, whether it was like a reflex save or whether it was just like a, uh, you know, like whatever it may be. And so that didn't sit super well with me personally. I understood why he did it in all honesty and I just kind of let it happen, but it really didn't sit that well with me. Um, so I definitely encourage if you're ever DMing for anybody who's doing it to um, try to give your players the chance to save. It may be the DC of that save would have been, you know, roll a nat 20 in order to not have your arm ripped off, but at least make me think I have a possible chance of that happening. Um, have I watched Search for Grog yet? No, I haven't. I'm still on, I'm watching, or I'm listening to the first campaign, so I definitely haven't watched uh, the Search for Grog yet. Um, like, I'm, I'm currently on, like, episode 55 or something. I'm not that far. I'm, like, halfway through. Yeah, my, uh, I'm, I'm currently working through it slowly, like one, like I, I listen to it for half an hour on my drive to work and a half an hour on the drive home, so it's, I don't go that far that fast, but we make it work. Responded yet? I'm supposed to maybe battle Matt tonight in PCL, and I don't know if I've actually gotten any word from him that he's available to do so. So we shall see. I don't know what he just went for. I was wondering if a described attack occurs and over half damage is dealt, a grievous injury is dealt, such as you not. That's not how the rules write it, but it could theoretically be a possibility within the confines of a game. I mean, the rules are more like guidelines, I get that. But I'm saying, like, hypothetically, that could be a thing you do in your campaign. It will become harder and harder to do over half someone's HP the higher level they get. Um, which is, you know, on some level, uh, 
like makes it harder for them to have a grievous injury because they're more powerful but also like early on in the game you know i was a bard i started with like 11 hp if something criticaled and did like six then that immediately you know then i immediately have a grievous injury for the rest of my career and i don't necessarily love that um i mean anyone can have surprise rounds that's part of the game No such thing as surprise rounds in 5e? Really? They got rid of surprise rounds? I did not know that. I've never read the 5e rulebook. Actually, it's not true. I have it right here. Ugh. DM guide. Um, combat options, 270, oh no, combat 247. Combat, tracking initiative, monsters and critical hits, improvising damage, area of effect, handling mobs, using miniatures, that's the weird thing to just like have. Flanking is an optional rule. Diagonals are an optional rule. Facing is an optional rule. Reactions. Chases. Sieges. Uh, yeah, it lists nothing about surprise rounds. To be fair, they started that game in Pathfinder, where there definitely are surprise rounds. I've read them, I've read about them. And as a wit bard, uh, you get access to act in any surprise round at any time, no matter what. Um, so. Alright, so we're kind of just here now. 
Togekiss is gone, which is sad pandas. It's very sad panda. What Z move? Is that fly any M Z that I just saw you do? Is this like Z bounce? Z aerial ace? I don't even know what flying type move this thing learns. It probably learns bounce. Yo, don't crit me. That did like 12%. <laughs> that was wild. I can't believe it did that much damage. I know he's at minus one from the close combat, but that's insanely that's insanely good damage. That's another close combat. I don't think this kills. He's at minus two. This knockoff should kill at minus two. Yeah, okay. Now, Don Fan's very, very low right now. Which isn't really what you're looking for. Could be a little bit higher if I didn't get critical hit by the super sonic, super sonic sky strike. I actually love that name. I make fun of it a lot, but I may love, but I do enjoy it. Goes for a swords dance. Well, that's terrifying. Are you shook a berry? You're shook a berry. Okay. So now you are very strong. Now you are very strong. What do we do against something that is very strong? We are not living a plus two iron head from a Cabalion. Not from 40. Even if we didn't get crit, I still don't think we were living that. Now I didn't check to make sure this Darmanitan was Scarf and I just realized that just now as I'm thinking about it. Didn't check, but I think it is. He's gonna play as if it is. I don't see this living. I mean, maybe you're Akaberry. It's not Akaberry. It's gonna take a decent amount of recoil right here. Now, Palisand maybe takes one. So he's probably going to go into that. I don't think Mega Absol is going to take one. Going to be honest. Is does he go for the earth power trying to pick me off? Or does he go for the rocks? For 
predicting me to switch. Shadow Ball. Predicting me to go to sell a Steela. Okay. So if this stays in, I think I survive the recoil. If he switches out, I get a kill on something else. And if it stays in, then obviously Sucker Punch is a thing on uh, Absol. Sucker Punch is 100% a thing that exists. And this obviously still checks the Cabalion. Pursuit's also a thing this Absol could have, though, so I could play the Sucker Punch Pursuit game. Alright, we'll play the Sucker Punch Pursuit game. I probably lost. Sucker Punch is a much lower drawback play. He didn't Sucker Punch. So Absol's dead. Darmanitan's gonna go down, but that's... I mean, he just, like, did exactly what I needed Darmanitan to do. I'm gonna be honest about it. Out comes the Cabalion. Out comes the Manectric. That Stealth Rock, I don't think, did need real damage. Um, we're gonna make him minus one. We know he's not Scarf, so we know he outspeed. And we're gonna intimidate him, so he's like, not very much threatening. We're gonna be able to go for a Flamethrower here. And take down the Cabali. So, phew, got through that one. There wasn't a Mana Feast, so I had a shot. Great game, Trey. Did you go for the Pursuit on the Darmanitan? Because, I mean, preserving that thing made sense. Or did you go, like, did you not have Zucker Punch? Or... Went for Swords Dance, ooh. Looks like nobody else is available, or nobody else has chosen to battle. So, if that's the case, then we'll make Dan a liar, and we'll end the stream. And if that isn't the case, someone else wants to battle, then I still have time. But, I don't know what you guys want to do. He, for whatever reason, thinks this is league format, so he's going to want to preserve this for differential. <laughs> Dude, I always think in league format. Y'all know I always, always think in league format. 100% of the time, without exception, I am always assuming it's league format. 
We also, I think the assumption you make is that I care about my preserving my differential in league format. I don't. Um, I'm really bad at preserving differential. I usually go from like, oh, this would be an easy like 5-0 win to, oh, I lost because I tried to preserve a 6-0. Um, so, rip differential. Uh, but yeah. So I figured letting Garbantan die. Honestly, what I wanted to do was go out into my, or get a safe switch into my Manekin. So if you had gone for either the Pursuit or the Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch kills my Darmanitan, I safe switch to Manectric. Pursuit, technically if I switch out, kills my Darmanitan, safe switch into Manectric. But um, if you had gone for like something else that wasn't Pursuit or Sucker Punch, then I didn't get a safe switch. So I figured letting it, just sacking it off was gonna be the best way to do it. Uh, because Manectric could have come in um, and I would have, uh, if you had SD'd, and survived and sucker punch, I would have gone into my Manectric and I would have gotten the uh, Intimidate and I would have actually clicked Substitute because I have Substitute on that Manectric. Um, so then you sucker punch into my Substitute, which does nothing. And then I can click Signal Beam, which uh, you might click Sucker Punch, that's fine. Signal Beam should kill the Absol um, and then Flamethrower for the Cabalion. Um, so that, that actually worked out to a point where that Manectric was like the perfect set for those last two mods. Because it was designed to handle Mega Mawile, which I didn't really want to deal with the uh, Sucker Punch prediction of that either. Anyway, looks like nobody else is jumping forward on the battling thing, so I'm gonna head out. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope no, you guys don't enjoy. Do it. Don't leave. Oh, you can leave. Um, you came back. I did come back, I said I would. <laughs> Just because I was saying I was leaving, is that? No. <laughs> Um, if you're if you're leaving, leave. Like I, well, I have no. I mean, nobody else is battling. Yeah. What Gen Eight discussions did I miss? Not a ton. Dan picked his starter. Um, well, I picked the cutest one. Dan picked the cutest. If I, starter. If, if I played the game, I might not actually pick that one. A stream without Scriblio. Heinous. <laughs> we got nineteen minutes. Seventeen minutes. <laughs> It's not enough time to do a full full game of scribble. Nah. That's what Dan yeah. said. Yeah. Dan said the grass one. I am going with Score Bunny probably, although I haven't decided officially yet. It can change. My thoughts change like immediately. At immediate first thought, I thought the grass one was the coolest. Then I like switched over to the fire one. So I've already like jumped ship once. So I can definitely do it again. Uh, the game doesn't come out till like. November, late November, so... Oh, push <laughs> off. It's not... We've got time. <laughs> um, before that is going to be Animal Crossing, it's going to be Fire Emblem, it's going to be um, Yoshi's Cotton something or other. Um, I've never played Animal Crossing. Well, you can play Animal Crossing for the Switch. You're hopping between them! Because it's a bunny! Huh? Yeah, I, I can. I probably won't, but I can. Do you not like Animal Crossing? I do you have, hate fun? I have never played it. I have no feelings about it whatsoever. So why wouldn't you play it on Switch? Because the things that I do now are like... But the Switch can come with you to the things you're doing. What I mean is the things that I do outside of like the actual things that I actually do are so like... I don't know. I don't know how to finish that sentence. <laughs> I have a thought. The words are not. Switch on Twitch. Switch, Switch on, on Twitch. Twitch. Switch on Twitch. Switch on Twitch. Switch on. We're going to Twitch now. Awkward because this is YouTube. <laughs> no, we're switching on to Twitch. We're switching on to Twitch. Yeah. I mean, I can. I can do my PCL battle live on Twitch. I can. That is a can you can do. I've done it before. It stresses me out a ton. Maybe your dance here will stress me out a little bit less. No. Oh, you'd leave. No, 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 no. I'd still be here. It just wouldn't stress you out less. That's emphasis. <laughs> That's really interesting. It just wouldn't stress you out less. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I get really cold. Like right now, I'm pretty warm. I'm like comfortably warm. It's, it's warm in here. Yeah, so I'll be doing my PCL battle and I'll just get freezing because of like the nerves. I don't know why, oh. but like for some reason, PCL battles streamed on Twitch. When I do them That's on great. YouTube, it's not a problem. 
Oh. Like when I would I would like record them pr privately. Oh well, right. Because um, they're not like people can't see them in real time. But when I do them on Twitch, I get like super nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. The TBL <laughs> battles that I stream on Twitch. You the TBL, TBL, TBL battles that I that I stream on Twitch don't stress me out like that. So masculine. I meant the console. Do you not follow this guy on Twitch? Do it. Exclamation point golden though. Yeah. Do that. And then follow the instructions. <laughs> follow the instructions on the label. They're, they're laid out very... <laughs> Basically, click every link, and yeah. then click the appropriate button to usually follow at every link. Yeah. Follow the instructions. Done! Will you also follow me back on Twitter? <laughs> you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and enjoy my Discord, and I'll follow you back on Twitter. That's my, that's my final response. Eee. That didn't show up in the chat. Eee. I think it was... I think it was blocked somehow by, like, YouTube bots. Oh, is it like you're not allowed to advertise yourself? I guess. Huh. I don't know how it would know that it was do he was I was going to say, it. that's a little too smart for my comfort. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, like, the life I live. That's my job. <laughs> to make the machines think. Yeah, <laughs> For anyone who's wondering, my nose itches. So yeah, that's that's what's happening right now. Why didn't you scratch it? It itches on the inside. Oh. Yeah. It's like feelings. I. Um, I hear. I'm uncomfortable. So yeah, I think we've got like Sebastian and theoretically one other. But I mean, I can jump to Twitch if oh, people... Oh, someone just joined! I can jump to Twitch if people want me to. Um... <coughs> oh. Ugh. That helped. With the itch. The internal itch. I made my face hurt, though. Because your face looked like it hurt. It was uh, just a sneeze. Tell I me mean... all itch. On the inside. Ah! <laughs> All right. Should I stream my PCL battle day? If you stream, I'll stay. If you don't, I won't. That was rhymey. <laughs> that was really rhymey. This it was the <laughs> second half was rhymey. <laughs> Mister Sebasculin is now following me on Twitch. Hey. I mean, I guess I have no reason not to stream it. Yeah, I mean, while you get set up, I'll put my laundry in, and then that's that. Okay. Unless Matt O'Shea decides to just like stream peak. <laughs> In case anyone's curious, this is actually a very tight band. <laughs> that like hurt me tomorrow. Did that sound bad? I just meant emotionally. No, you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, that was that's fine. You're fine. That's fine. You're fine. Oh, you mean boobs? Throwback. <laughs> that was Kareen, right? Yeah. Wow. Sophomore year of high school. Yeah. Almost a decade ago. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. We're three years out of college, so freshman year was a decade ago. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was. And I'm acting in a show with one of the teachers at my our old high school. That's weird. Crazy. Yeah, Mr. Shea. We can cover that up, because everyone knows where our old high school was. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, it was in Golden Town. I don't know if it actually says on there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Golden yeah. Gophers, I don't know. You just sound like an insane person. <laughs> this is a change from the norm. It's not. It's not. It's not. Alright, I'm gonna jump over to Twitch. I'm gonna put my laundry in, and then also jump over to Twitch. So, I'll see you guys over at Twitch if you want to join. 
I will do my T PCL Week Nine battle Are you against the Montreal Milotics um, and Matt O'Shea, who this time has a Mega Altaria, where last time I had a Mega Altaria. Oh. He paralyzed it, and I got nine straight turns of not getting fully paralyzed and killed his entire team in thirteen turns. So, like so they do better. So no, that was good. That was mine. I had that. No, do do better against his than oh, he did against yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I obliterated. That wasn't the last time I faced him. I would face him again in the ICBA playoffs, but I 6 0 in there. So, um, but the first time we faced, he beat me. So, uh, I'm currently 2-1 against him. But this team that I've got is... Knowledge. It's black. You got the black screen of death. Oh. <laughs> Any hoozy doozy. Nobody's watching. Thank you all so much for <laughs> watching. And I will catch you guys on the flippy flop. So, let me see if I can leave. I can't leave, Dan. Leave. Is that how I do it? No. Is that how I do it? I don't remember how I do it. Me neither.